Hey guys, today's video is up close and personal. It's about dandruff and product buildup. What's the difference between the two and how you guys can tell and see the difference. Um, but before we get started, you guys go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that red button. And please do not forget to hit that notification bell. That's the only way you guys will see my videos when they are posted and be the first ones to see them. If I ever took a loss, I learned a lesson. I won't ever think I'm better than the next. When we're looking at dandruff, there are different types of dandruff. It's not just one thing that could just cause dandruff. You have things like oily skin. You even have like a yeast-like fungus called Malassociasis um, that can cause dandruff. You have um, dandruff from dry scalp, from not shampooing your hair enough, and from a sensitivity to your hair care. So those are just like some general causes of dandruff. Now when we're looking at scalp buildup, it's like two major factors that um, cause scalp buildup um, or product buildup is from the overuse of styling products or ineffective, ineffective cleaning. And for most of us natural girls, we can say that maybe we've experienced this and this is what's going on with my hair right here. And it's time for a wash day. Um, it's just coming from like styling gels or creams or whatever I've had in my hair. And the way you can tell the difference between the dandruff and the scalp buildup is, or product buildup, excuse me, you guys, I keep saying scalp buildup, but it's the same thing, product buildup. Um, the difference is, as you look at my hair, you see, you tend to see a lot of small little particles in my hair as I'm scratching up. It's not really a flake. And that's how you can indicate the difference between dandruff and scalp buildup. Um, with dandruff, you'll see more of flakiness and sometimes irritation of the scalp, depending on what type of dandruff it is. Now, I think with the dry scalp dandruff, that one is like the least likely to cause um, redness in the scalp and the oily one, those two, oily dandruff or dry scalp dandruff. Um, now, if you have an irritation like the yeast-like dandruff, you will have uh, just different patches of redness and a lot of flakiness and also if you have a sensitivity to your product that you're using you'll find more red patches in your hair and bigger flakes and the difference between dandruff and scalp buildup if you guys didn't catch it before is the flakiness of dandruff and product buildup tends to be smaller pieces like you see in my head here now the ways to treat your dandruff or your product buildup sometimes it just takes a good old scrub into the scalp and that can cure you from dandruff. Sometimes some dandruff is more difficult to treat and you might have to go to a dermatologist and get a medicated shampoo um, if your dandruff is uh, stubborn or um, whatever. But most of the time it's just a good old scrubbing. And so I hope you guys enjoy this video and get the difference between dandruff and buildup in case somebody asks you or wants to know or in case you're wondering yourself, um, what do you have? product buildup or dandruff. Now here are some products that can help you with your dandruff. Um, a cream of nature apple cider vinegar shampoo and also there's a shea moisture um, dandruff control conditioner and shampoo. It's a combo that should help with your dandruff. Also you can use African black soap you can use lemon juice, lemon juice like every other day, but you have to mix it with a little water because of the acidity, acidity in the lemons and it helps to balance your pH of your scalp. Also, you can use willow bark extract or tea tree oil, but please note you should be careful with tea tree oil if you have small children because if you're going to use it on a child, make sure that child has already gone through puberty because it has been known to cause early um, puberty in children so I just want you guys to be aware of that and be cautious of that um, it's been a few studies that show that it actually does activate puberty so please be aware of that um, and those are all the products I can think of right now and I hope you guys enjoy this video and give me a big thumbs up and thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video